Alrighty, that's a wrap for um, this year at work. So I'm now just about to unload all the stuff out of my the back of my ute. Thought I'd bring you guys on a quick little little video with me to see what's in my ute. Yeah, so uh, follow along. All right, so the current setup that I've got is just a big canvas canopy. And I basically just throw everything in the back, like so. And then on this side, I've got a fixed, fixed toolbox down. So I chose the canvas canopy because I wanted to have something to go camping in and sleep in. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than a full aluminium canopy. Bring nothing falls out. Good to go. All right, so I'm gonna be taking pretty much everything out and storing it. This is the shed that I'm currently set up in. It's hard because I'm sharing a lot of this stuff with the Easy Prime brand, I guess. So like all most of my tools just kind of stack up here and then I have some scaffolding and my drops or tables or pressure washer and stuff. So I'm gonna have to try to organize this stuff to fit all my tools in here. Alrighty, so I'm just going to start loading everything out and I'm going to stack it over there, kind of show you what I've got, why I've got it in the back, and then I'm going to put it all away. Alrighty, so that's everything out of the cab, which is all just over there. I'll show you what's just in the trundle tray for now, before I take it all out. Um, I've got some lifting clamps. I've got three different size levels. So a two meter, 1200 and a 600. And then I've got three different types of tracks in here. Um, I've got a few different types of clamps. A socket set that always stays in there. A hole saw kit, chisels, screwdriver set. Some bits, this is for four-wheel driving, spade bits, drill bits. Um, and that's about it for the trundle tray. And then over here, I've just taken a whole bunch of stuff out, but that's where all my batteries clip up there. Then I've got two different size saws, a 185 and a 165. Um, planer, grinder, you can't see it, but it's a sander, a little orbital sander in there. And then in here, hammer drill, uh, multi-tool, light. Here, drill, impact driver, recipro, and um, I'm thinking of the name, jigsaw. And all I've done is cut out like a little bit of foam so that the clips go in and they fit in there nicely. Kind of want to do something a bit better for here. Um, but I just kind of left that down and nothing, none of those tools fit in here that are flat. And then up on the shelf is just all like little bits and pieces. I've got some paint with some paint pens. Uh, what's in there? Gra uh, glasses, safety masks, um, rags, some bog, tape, nails and stuff, grinding blades. Um, multi-tool blades, some wipes, my laser, and then yeah, all the battery set up in there. So I got my 18 volts here, my high cokies here, and then my 40 volts there. So I just wanted to say, I'm not showing you every single one of my tools, I'm just showing you what was in my toolbox or my car for the last day of work. Okay, so obviously I was doing doors the last couple of days of work. So I'll quickly run you through everything that I had in the car. This is my trimmer box. What do you reckon's in it? Got a trimmer. Um, this is a cool little plunge jig that I've got. These are pretty good. These are all my different types of bits for it. Um, this is an awesome door holder, I'm gonna call it. 
got my track saw. I've got the Festool, the battery version. So it's a double battery track saw. Um, and then it comes with another, well, I bought another battery. I'm going to get one more battery as well so that if those two go flat, I've got two full ones, whack the next ones on charge. And then I use that with the battery. Um, see if there's batteries in there. Yeah, use that with the battery Makita 36 volt vacuum. That's pretty much that little door set up there and the tracks are in the car. Um, I kind of just keep this in there the whole time. because It's really handy to have. Just got a whole bunch of different types of screws and stuff. Let it clip that up so I don't drop it. Um, I'll run through my nail bag in a sec. But I've also got my carry case. Oh, I'll run through that in a sec. I've got Hikoki fix out gun. This is corded, uh, cordless battery one as well. This is really awesome. The only thing that I don't like about these is they don't shoot ND nails. They only shoot C's, which is a certain size. And then I've got my router templates by Fast Hinge. Yeah, so I've got my router templates by Fast Hinge. This one's for um, the catch plates and the cavity sliders. And then this one over here, this is the one I use the most often. This is for 85 mil, or this is 100 mil hinges, and then 85 mil hinges. So I was doing some doors, as you can tell, I'm kind of set up. That's what the car was set up for, for the last couple of days. This is another little screw box. It's double-sided, it's all just got little, tiny little screws. Just like all the type of shit that you go, oh, where's that at? Right here, baby. All right, this one, this one I think is setting. I got three of these Makita boxes. This one, yeah, this one's my setting stuff. So I had to do a little bit of, I had to patch the ceiling. So that's perfect. It's got, I'll open, I'll open, I'll open it and show you. So it's got setting tools, tape, um, perforated tape and paper tape. It also normally has some screws in there, like a couple of screws. But it's got, I think, one, two, three, three different size blades, and then it's got an external corner and an internal corner. And then this is my bit box. This is really awesome. It's got a lot of little bits and pieces that come in handy. Um, it's kind of easy just to bring with you everywhere instead of like, oh, I need one of those things. So I've got, I've got some tile drilling bits. I normally start tile drilling with this, I'm gonna call it a spade bit head and then I finish it with these. These fit on your grinder, they're so good. Got my decking drilling bits here, got a whole bunch of different sizes. I've got two different size, two different size Allen keys. Um, got some stair jigs, uh, some pre-drill bits couple of different chisels and also longer drill bits. So like a long five mil and a short five mil, some roofing bits, another decking bit, uh, an auger bit. I just put this in here cause I think I used it and I just put it in there. I don't, and they're not normally in here. Then in here, normally I have like crayons and chalk for steel and concrete stuff. Whenever you're cutting concrete, it's really good to use crayon cause pencil, um, if you're cutting it wet, the pencil rubs off. And then the last one, I've just got a whole bunch of different types of bits, all different types. Hey, you don't need to see my face, but I'm gonna take you through what's in my carry case. Um, so this always just stays in my car. It's got pretty much all my hand tools. I thought I might as well just give you a quick little run through of what I got in there. So I got some cold gal I was doing, I was cutting steel, rivets. I got a couple different shifter sizes. Some packets. I can go over there. Different saw guides. This is for the big one, this is for the little one. I got like a putty knife. This is pretty cool. Got like a trim puller. That's really good for like demo if you need to save the wall. I got a water bottle. Spare hammer. I got some safe safety glasses. A couple bits of sandpaper. Obviously this is um this is not set up for the video. This is, I just took it out of the car and I'm just showing you what's in there. Dust mask in there, bevel, 
I'll show you my electrical stuff. So I've got some wire cutters, some long needle nose pliers, flat tip and a Phillips head, testers, some normal pliers. That's pretty much it for my electrical stuff. I don't do electrical, I'm a carpenter builder and an electrician. Got some spare has load rack and nails. We've got some spare chalk lines, some roofing snips. I normally have three pairs, actually. I normally have a red pair. I'm not too sure where they are. We've got some painter's tape, extra bits, got like a little profile scribing thing. This is really good for decking. Oh, these come in handy heaps, except I've got this bit stuck and I can't get it out. So it's like an extension, but it's um, flexible. Probably just broke it, but it doesn't. That's cool. This is really good. I've got a nail puller. This thing's sick. A spare fold fold. Some extension bits. Oh, I've got some bit holders on the back. And a couple spare grinding blades on the side. Pretty much it. Back in they all go. This is the current setup I've got for my nail bag. I am going to change it because it's, no, no, there's too much shit in it, I think. I'm not a fan of it right now. So, um, this is just what I've got, what I had in it, or what I've got in it. Um, I'm not particularly set up for anything, I just rammed a whole bunch of stuff in it before the end of the year. So, it's a buckaroo nail bag. It's got a side pouch. I think this is like, I don't know what it's called, but it's a big pouch. So this is my left side pouch. It's got a square po square holder here. And then it's got one, two, three pockets. Um, a little one at the front that I put my tape in. A little bit of a bigger one. And then a bigger one that's pretty deep. It's also got like a nail pull a holder and um, a tape holder and pencil and a thingo. At the front I've just got like this little nut sack holder that I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get rid of that or put it in a different spot. Next I've got two different types of bit holders. One of these I just use for normal bits, like square drive, Phillips head, roofing, etc. And then the other type that's a bit more sturdy I use for drill bits, just cause they seem to hold a little bit more weight. Um, I've got a tape clip but I rarely use this, reason being, I feel like after you use it a couple times, this little toggle like breaks off and it really frustrates me when it breaks off. So I'm gonna take that off and I think I'm gonna replace it with a tape pouch. Um, then I've got a hammer holster, as you can see, and it's got a chisel holster as well. Um, the chisel that I've got is like a demo chisel. So it's got the sharp front and the side and I just use this for absolutely everything. And I have a four fold to go with it. Um, the hammer that I'm using is an East Wing hammer. I think it's a 20, 22 ounce or 24 ounce, but it's a pretty lightweight one. And it's pretty old, the bottom's nearly starting to wear out, so I might be looking at a different one soon. Around the back, I've just got some nips. Um, I don't use this as much as I thought I would, so I think these are gonna go as well. Um, pretty much this side of the belt is gonna go. I've also got some suspenders. These are really handy when your nail bag's full. Um, otherwise, if it's not full, you've just got bits and pieces, it's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna r run you through what I've got in my pouch now. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the ground. So you've got the little nutsack holder, bit holders, tape holder, um, hammer, chisel, fourfold, nips, nip holder. I actually, you know what, this might stay because I use that a lot for putting my impact driver and stuff off, like I hang it off that nail gun. It's actually super handy for that. Now let's dive into the pouches. I've got 
tape measure. I, I use the eight meter one just because honestly, I feel like the 10 meters annoying. Like if you need anything more than eight meters, just measure it twice. Um, I just use normal carpenter's pencil. Damn, that's pretty sharp. Look at that. Um, I love this. I love this knife. It's It's got two blades. So that's just a normal Stanley knife. And then this one. I don't even know why I like it so much. I think, I just reckon it's cool. <laughs> um, I don't even use that that much, but I just think it's cool. I've got a couple punches. So this is just a small little punch that I use. Probably another bit, some <laughs> ND nails. It's all for there. Then what's this? I was doing some doors. So these are some hinge screws. Oh, I just bought this the other day, um, like a tough rule. I thought these were pretty cool. So I think I might replace that fourfold. I got a sliding square. Um, these are really awesome. I think I'm always going to have one of these in my nail bag. They always come in handy when you're scribing lines or measuring something. I, I just love these. I've got a couple packers. Don't need them. Oh, that's a pre-drill bit. Once again, I was doing doors. What else? Uh, drill bit. Screw. These are pretty cool. Fast hinge sells these. They're like um, punch, like spring punches. Screw. Feels like just more screws. Yeah, I think there's just shit now on there. Yeah, nothing else. Then I've got, oh, mate, I'm an upgrade for a square. I've had this for like four years. So I think I'm gonna get a new one next year. It's in there. Then I've got a 25 mil chisel. Um, this needs a sharpen. Barco is my favorite brand for chisels. If anyone wants to get me a gift. And then I've also got, oh, I got these last year. Then I've got these long punches here. She's stuck in there, there we go. This one's for really fine, and this one's maybe for like NDs. I got one more that's good for framing nails. Uh, extension bits, here you go. That's This is the framing one. See how it's heaped big boomba at the bottom? That's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like on last time, and then good to go. Okay, so this is the end of 2023 setup. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Early next year, I'm gonna do a, another Upgraded nail bag review, but that's what it looks like on. Right, it's about a thunderstorm, so I've got to get everything in the shed now.